So, what's up, my dickies? Mr. S. Apple with another po Pokemon Raid walkthrough. Uh, I believe last time we finished up Lavender City by beating Cubone's mother to death with her own club and rescuing Mr. Fuji. So, uh, I want, I need a TM. I, for whatever reason, want a TM. I need it. I don't want it. I need it. So let's go talk to this woman who is strangely out of the kitchen. That's a problem. But she gives us a TM. Very nice. TM39. Which is, I believe, Swift, because I missed a little ad notation at the bottom, which it is Swift. Because we need something to teach Viper, because Viper, to say it politely, sucks. Donkey tits, okay? So we need something to, you know, make her a little bit better-ish, kind of, maybe, sort of, yeah. Let's just, you know, put it out there. So, we got Swift, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I actually kind of forgot she actually gave us that, so that was uh, lucky on my part. And now onwards, uh, pretty much this is the bridge, uh, if you want to call it that, or dock, that connects pretty much Lavender Town to Vermilion City, which kind of connects to Fuchsia City. So that was pretty hunky dory, but we got a battle with fishermen. Pretty much everyone on here, I'd say about 85% of people have water type Pokemon, which are at decently low level, but not low enough where a Dragon Rage will Oko them, so, but we should be expecting that by now. If we got Dratini a little bit earlier, it would have been great, but no. So, confusion, of course, Dratini would hit itself, like, what the fuck, like, really, like, ugh, that logic is so retorted, and, uh, I did not, I was hoping that with confusion, every time I did a rep, I wouldn't have to ask myself, hey, do I need to slap myself in the face, or do I attack that fish-looking thing over there? But, uh, yeah, you don't. Um, but the bad thing is, even if you're poisoned and you do rap, you still get poison damage, so, like, rap isn't that great of a move when you're poisoned, because regardless of what end of the spectrum you're being rapped at, you're in a shitty spot. So, don't be poisoned rap, because it's bad. And we're not going to learn agility just because, uh, uh, oh, am I? No, I didn't think so, I was going to say. Agility is not that great, just because... If you're going to use agility, you should have some kind of good attacking stat to go along with it, and uh, I have neither of those. Because uh, Swift is, you know, it's an okay attack, especially in, okay, in this generation, it's really good. Because it will never miss, even if you're like flying or dug underground, so. But it did a relatively good amount, I'd say about 35%, so Dragon Rage from that range will be able to kill it. Which is very hunky dory, you know. Anytime I can raise Viper up to be a good car, uh, that would be magnificent. Just because Viper needs to do something with its life. And we need to create the craze. Raise Cubone a tiny, tiny bit ish. Little. Like four levels ish. Which is kind of tiny, not really. Though by grinding, that would only take like five minutes. So. Okay, the way I grind is I just like fast forward through stuff and then I just go from there, but real time, it'd probably like take like 20-ish, maybe. Depending on how you grind, it still may take you five, but. Saffron City, that was the name of that city. Very, very sneaky of you. Um, I figured that I cut out too much of the video a lot and I figured I'd show you guys, you know, kind of what I do when, like when I do cut stuff out, so. Not sure if I will be doing this regularly, but uh, here's a little sneak peek if you want to call it that. Uh, I went to go heal my Pokemon because Viper's kind of dead, and I kind of want Viper to grow levels. But uh, I need, uh, e I guess you could call it equipment. Some super potions, uh, no TMs. Because in this generation, they don't tell you, like, they don't give you a description of the TM. So it's kind of like blind if you didn't memorize them all, which unfortunately I haven't, so. Uh, super potions, we're getting like 10 of those, I guess. Uh, we're getting like 5 revives, though I think I already have some on me, I believe. Antidotes, burn heals, uh, paralyzed heals, awakenings, and I think that's it. Uh, hmm, wow. It's only like 5.45 in the afternoon, and I'm like falling asleep over here. I don't think I got any ice heals, just because... Now, what, what are the chances of us getting frozen? 
I don't think any Pokemon until like the Elite Four has an Ice Move that will freeze us. And even then, I don't think any of them has Blizzard, which has a 30% chance to freeze, and Ice Beam has a 10% chance. Though it would be kind of wise of me to carry some, because in this generation, you have 0% chance to thaw out, even if you're hit by a fire move or anything like that. So if you're frozen, you are legit, like, done for. That's a dead Pokemon, so... I probably, in the long run, should have, but I didn't. Uh, I forgot what I was looking at in particular, but then I realized I kind of want to fly. So let's go back to Lavender Town, where the ghosts run wild. Uh, I don't feel like singing that. Uh, maybe some other time if I ever come back to Lavender Town for whatever reason. Uh, but now we are going to continue off where we left off on the Dock Bridge. Intercontinental uh, wooden thingy. And, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that. But, uh, ooh, look at the green bridge. It looks like it's all moldy and whatnot, ready to, like, cave in on us. That's not very safe, Nintendo. Come on. Though this isn't meant to be played on a Game Boy Advance emulator, so you really wouldn't be able to tell what colored bridge actually is, except black and white and shades in between those, such as gray and gray or uber gray. But we got another fisherman uh, with a pallywag. Pallywags are always fun to fight. I wish I wish I would have gotten a pallywag. Who the hell needs a Dratini or a Jolteon or even a Clefable when you could have a pallywag? Which could evolve into Pallywhirl and then into a Pallywrath. And if you have some certain hacks on, you could bring over the Gen 2 Pokemon and hell even have a poly toad. Is it bad that I just realized that every evolutionary stage of that particular family actually has the word poly in its name? Huh. Why did I not notice that earlier? That's very odd. They should add poly grip in there. <laughs> oh, that'd be very weird and awkward. I wouldn't know how to do Ooh, a sheller! Look at that! pre-evolutionary stage of the vagina Pokemon. God, I love that cloister. I bet you someone's putting a nine in her cloister right now. Or what? What? Yeah. No, that's gross. How dare you bring that subject up, sir? It's absurd. But, uh, Vipers put in work, apparently. Uh, only taking 12 damage. More than likely because they were doing bubble or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the screen. This is just like the worst commentary ever. I can't, I don't even know what I'm even talking about anymore. I'm playing with like a stylus thing for my 3DS. I don't know why, but I am so, <laughs> there you go with that. Uh, got her in confusion. That's a uh, go figure, I guess. But Smarowak has defense, super tactical, so he doesn't take too much from it. And two bone clubs easily rape that Goldeen. Uh, uh, sorry I use those words. I, I, I don't know. I've been reading like blogs on like All is Brawl, which is like a Smash site because I'm a Smasher and whatnot. Yeah, they're just saying that we should act more professional. And when I say us, I mean Smashers. Like, don't use rape or you know, it's just like be more practical with your language. It's just like, you know, sometimes I can, but it's like these kind of moods I'm in right now. It's just like I feel like saying just like whatever. Like, no, like don't say faggot because that's offensive. Like, yeah, okay, that's true and stuff but I just realized one of my Game Boys is missing what the hell I will be right back well uh, I fell into my dog's water dish so I got to do the whole put rice in a bowl and wait from there but we got uh, Snorlax here being a fat ass and getting in our way but with Poke Flute that Mr. Fuji gave us uh, we can handle this situation quite nicely. But of course, you know, Snorlax had to be a bitch and, you know, start attacking us. And I don't really need a Snorlax because I got all the Pokemon I need. And, uh, though Snorlax would be a very nice, uh, addition to our team because we could just get rid of Fable. We don't need a Snorlax, but we can catch it if we really wanted to. Uh, we'd always go back to uh, Celadon City and catch it from there, so. Which I may do, because there's a glitch in Celadon City, not the PC one that I do want to show you guys, because it's really cool. 
So we got a rocker here with a Voltorb, and I'm like, Ugh, I know what's gonna happen here, and I'm not going to like it. Uh, if you guys don't know, it's self destruct, Vlurg. And since Voltorb is a very fast Pokemon, an Electrode, if I'm not mistaken, is probably the fastest Pokemon in this generation. Um, barring maybe Mew or Mewtwo. Um, this could be a problem because potentially two of my guys could be KO'd. So I send out Shine for the pure fact that she has a decent bulk to her in HP and defense. What I really should have done is uh, sung him to sleep and see if I could do something from there. But I guess I took the more offensive route and just mega punched him to death. So regardless of how I did it, I did it. It's a done deal. It's done. It's over with. Let's get out with her lives. Huh. I really don't like. I didn't start yawning until I started commentating this. So I think that tells us something there. Uh, ooh, apparently a uh, viper is revitalized. That's very hunky-dory to read. That that always brings a smile to my face. When I revitalize a Pokemon, oh, yeah, it just makes me the happiest boy in the world. And we're gonna talk to this guy for really no apparent reason. I don't need a super rod. But I guess it's kind of helpful to have said super rod. So, no, I'll, I'll keep it. You know why not? Super rods are super rods are super rods. And I don't feel like bailing that douchebag, though I do anyways, just because, like, you know, I felt like I have avoided a lot of trainers this video, so I was like, what's Pokemon if you don't battle? So, I'm battling. There you go. But he has a Nilran, which is kind of, like, weird to me. Uh, I generally don't see him too often. And it's just like, they have a, you know, decently high attack. And with Viper being, you know decently low level that's gonna hurt especially when they get the poison off on me don't appreciate that uh, I was thinking we go for a super potion first and then the uh, antidote because I think that will end up in me taking less damage so that's pretty great but fury attack is doing quite a number thankfully it only hits two times because it hit anymore uh, it would probably be in peril, but Horn Attack, you know, has a lot more base power, though it's only one hit, so, you know, barring maybe a four or five hitter, it probably wouldn't have KO'd anyways, which it didn't, but uh, things and whatnot. But I think it's just time to send in Cubone, because Cubone's got to bone him with his boning action of bonerific things. And he's taking that Fury Attack, you know, kind of nicely. Three damage, I, I could live with, but I don't know. When you can get up to five hits, you know, 15 being, you know, absolute max and whatnot. And when he's hit me like this consistently, yeah, sure, I may be a physical wall, but that still does, like, a, a good chunk to me this early in game. You know, yeah, hit me five times, three times straight, you know, I'm almost dead. And, yeah, sure, I got super effective on you, but still, uh, and then you got no Reno, who has, you know, good base attack and whatnot. It's just like, ugh. But, uh, thankfully, he goes for the poison sting, which I do resist. And I can two hit KO him. And again, like, a horn attack, it's pretty good, powerful move. With a good attacking stat, it will do a lot. So, I don't know what's up with the sudden, you know, change in talking here but it did so let's heal up viper let's revitalize her before you know something goes you know horribly wrong things and such same with cubo we need to heal him i don't even know what level cubo evolved because i don't know if the marowak and the lavender town tower set down here there is like an ambush of trainers if you stay on the right side, you'll be okay. But there's one right there looking, you know, right at you. And then we got this bird faggot guy, uh, you know, wanting two battles. Which is okay. I think he has, like, 
This is no, he's not the guy. Uh, the lady next to him has a lot of Pokemon that are slightly under level. But when you got like a level twenty nine Pidgey, what are you doing with your life? Like really, really? Like why? Why do you have a level twenty nine Pidgey? Wow, that is twenty. To me, I, it's a quick check, but in stab and whatnot. But holy tits in my face, that was a lot. Wow. That one gonna do twenty two? Oh, night, nineteen. Yeah, night. Wow. That's kind of a lot, huh? Oh, that just baffles me. Uh, do we get a at least a four turn wrap? No, but I'm hoping Dragon Rage. Ha! Retard did well then. You're retarded. That's what you get for being a level 29 Pidgey. Wow. Dragon Rage from that percent so doesn't even kill. So disappointing. Better get a level from that. Fucking eight levels up. I. What? Wow. Okay. Whatever. This is Gen 5. Probably would have because. If you guys don't know, which I don't know why I know, but I do, because I'm retarded. Uh, in Gen 5, there is no auto-leveling like there was past 4 Gens, where they used that term very awkwardly, as in every Pokemon gives the same percent no matter what level you are. So, like, you just beat the Elite 4, you get the same percent every time. Gen 5, they changed that where whatever level you are will vary on experience. Like, if you're 8 levels lower, you would get more experience than if you were 8 levels higher. So, it makes it a lot more. It's more difficult to train and to raise your Pokemon to level 100, which is why probably Poke, Poke Sav and Poke Gen are so popular nowadays, just because Nintendo doesn't like the competitive aspect of gaming. So they tried to make it harder. Like, they add more moves, which gives you more options as a whole to do, you know, whatever, uh, more tactical things. But at the same time, they made it harder for you to reach that percentage. And with, like, you know, natures, attacks, uh, EVs, IVs, and all that, they made it even harder for us to do said things. But, of course, with hackers out there and whatnot, we're we're always beating Nintendo like it's weird because like we're beating Nintendo at what they don't want us to do like Brawl even though they you know Melee was extremely competitive and such an amazing game and then they come out with Brawl which is such a shitty game like ha huh, this game's so bad you can't make it competitive and then it's you know just as big as Melee in a different sense as you know what competitive is and what community is and whatnot. And it feels like they did that with Pokemon, like, oh, okay, since the other fours, you know, we're just like that, we'll make this one kind of different and kind of harder so you guys can't have as much fun with it. And then we're just like, uh, no, we got hackers, we can beat you guys. So it's just really weird how Nintendo's trying to, like, fuck us over. I didn't really want to say that, but I did. They're, they're trying to fuck us over, but, you know, not so blaint about it you know they're they're not so they're not they're not nice about it. like they are it's really weird. like they're not telling us up front like oh hey we you know we're gonna change this because it's competitive or whatnot so we're gonna make it it's still kind of playable but you know it's a lot hard to get competitive into it and then we're just like oh, oh no we're still gonna do what we want with it that's what I'm saying. It's it's just really weird how Nintendo is, you know, kind of blunt about things like that, but at the same time, it's indirect, indirectly intentional of what they're actually doing. So, I guess that's the best way I can put it. But we got this battle going on. I think it was a lady with five Pokemon that are, you know, decently under level. Which is level 24 BL? Come on, get at me. Uh. That was actually a fun conversation I had, like, a minute ago. I should have more of those. Uh, if you guys didn't watch my thoughts video about uh, the Smash community and the Wii U and whatnot, you should certainly check that out, because... Um, fun fact, my IQ is a lot higher than normal. My IQ is, I believe, 129, which is, like, above average. But I like never use my head like whatsoever like if you actually see me trying at something that's something that I actually want to try it it's it's just really weird uh, so like if you actually listen to me talk about that it makes me actually seem smart which is again abnormal for me just because I 
am just a lazy slacker. Like, yeah, I go to college and whatnot, and I, I do my thing, but it's just like, whatever. Like, I, there's just no motivation for it, like, whatsoever. Uh, like, my average GPA so far is, like, I've only went three semesters because I need a break from high school. I think my average right now is, like, a 3.3. Because first semester I got a 3.3. Second semester I got a 3.93. Yeah, I was seventh in the class. And then this semester, because my classes are fucking retarded and I hated them all, I got a 2.7, so... That's like whatever. Uh, we're ditto, ditto. We're fighting a ditto. Uh, yeah, and we're going to catch it because obviously I didn't cut it out. And I realized that my farfetch pretty much walls this thing to no extent, just because the only insects he has is bone club and growl. Uh, sword ants will cancel out the growl, and bone club can't hit me. So I figured uh, I would do my thing. Uh, and uh, th catch them with a pokeball, obviously. Uh, I don't know why. Pokeball, because I'm pretty sure I got great balls. Uh, I tried texting there, but that did not work, because I can't focus on two things. But uh, it's a transform Pokemon, if you didn't know. He's pretty much your DNA living. And I believe I named him I B U, Because what other clever name could I... Ah, I just now remember the name I could have named him. Uh... But, yeah, IBU, I think that was perfectly acceptable. Not, you know, gonna be using him, but things and such. <laughs> but that's pretty much the end of the episode. I will be going to Fuchsia City, healing up and saving and whatnot. So if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys want to say something to my face, like you're a fucking dumbass about everything you say, leave that in the comments. You may cry a little, but you love to comment. Let me know you care. Uh, sub if you want to, I think I'll leave a co or I'll leave an ad notation for the first 10 seconds in the beginning of the video where you can hit that button, which is the button above the video that says subscribe or uh, other things like favorite uh, so I don't really keep track of those so until next time guys uh, I'm Mr. Asset I butcher my name you got your fix